Hi, Tony Bear, Venice, California. Officer involved shooting, the Pacific Division, Lincoln and Rose. Cops were there. We got a visit by uh, Andy Smith. He's a great uh, LAPD, and he will tell us what happened today. Here's the video. Well, um, I was walking out of the park out of my job, and I heard, uh, I saw the police, she went boom, boom, like that. And then the, the gentleman fell on the ground, and I'm like, I'm like, aren't you gonna call 911? Aren't you gonna call 911? And they're like, get away from here, get away. I said, what are you gonna do, shoot me next? And I went to put my phone up, and they said, you, they said, you better turn that phone off. So was it a justified shooting? It was like two shots. Was it uh, uh, self-defense? No, I don't. I know because a lot of witnesses saying it wasn't, saying that uh, uh, that uh, they. I, you know how the police are. Yeah. Because we had prior shootings here in Venice when they shot the youth. Yes. And um, they said that he was being combative. Then one person said he had a knife, and the other person said he didn't have a knife. But I don't understand, why do you gotta shoot a man, then put handcuffs on him? Uh, was it a female cop that shot him? No, well, that's what they're saying, it was a female. And, and your name, please? My name's Pam. What, what troubles you about this shooting? Well, what troubles me is so soon on the hill of Brandon's uh, shooting another home, homeless person. This is two now. And it seems the justification is the police are armed with tasers, bean bags, um, other supposedly training things that could be an alternative to uh, shooting somebody. Uh, as you know, unless a person is pretty accurate with a knife, uh, if he was up like this, then that's a dangerous situation. Uh, if he's like this, he would actually have to get close enough to lunge at you with a knife. So I would be very interested to know what their own investigation would show the distance between him and the officers was. Because unless you're an accurate knife thrower, uh, uh, then there's no way in the world he could have done any damage to anyone. Or if he had cut someone already, or if he was running toward the officers, that's different. But yet, even then, they have other avenues that they can use to subdue the bean bags, the, the tasers. They could have tased him. Those are 25 to 50,000 volts. And unless, unless he's on uh, some serious drugs or something, the adrenaline is really high. There's no way in the world you can overcome 25 to 50,000 volts. And then uh, they gain tackle um, uh, persons before. Uh, you see them using the pit maneuver to stop cars. Uh, I, I kind of think that if the training manual needs to really be looked at because when you shoot someone that's or murder someone, you're actually taking their life away where there's never any more hope for them. Uh, and there's got to be something, another way that they can 
do this. This is on Brandon. Brandon was another young man come, coming through our ministry. So I'm just going to ask you to make mm -hmm. a good point about your ministry. Uh, do you think that you may know the person today? Uh, that's what a few phone calls called me and let me know. That's why I came down to make sure the one member they I thought it was. That's why I was concerned. I, I left and heard. It. Does it seem like it might be? No, it's not. I shot a homeless guy again, and you know the guy was apparently wielding a knife, and they uh, decided to use deadly force instead of you know I guess I don't know I wasn't there, but you know this is a, a deliberate attack on the homeless. It's sad. I thought he was uh, tased. He was tased. He kept walking toward him. Is he, is he dead or alive? As far as I know, he's dead. Thank you, sir. Okay. And it's not, uh, what happened today? Sure, uh, there's an officer involved shooting uh, right down here. Uh, about two hours ago, uh, officers responded to a call of a man with a knife. Uh, they got there and at some point an officer involved shooting ensued. Uh, suspect was taken into custody and transported to a local hospital. Um, unknown condition at this time. Uh, both officers are okay. Of course, a big investigation with Force Investigation Division. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay.